inspired for it was actually from that from the actual event itself. Um, the the, the sh what, what happened to Oscar took place, you know, New, New Year's Eve, New, in early morning New Year's Day of 2009, and I was and I'm actually from the Bay Area. It happened in Oakland where, where, where I was born and raised, and I was on Christmas break at the time um, from from film school in, in, in Los Angeles. Um, but by the time I, I got back home that that morning, it was on the news that. Uh, the guy that, that had been shot was, was a 22-year-old, was a 22-year-old African-American male, and, and, and the person that shot him was a police officer, was, was a transit cop. And then later on, for the next few days, uh, the news came out that, that, that the guy passed away. Um, and the, the craziest thing that happened was the, was the footage started to come out. It started to come out on the internet, and it started to come out in, 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 in news reports. It was one of those things you see, and it kind of makes you feel, makes you feel sick in, 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 in an empty way. And then that emptiness fills up with a the, with the wide range of emotions. Uh, for, for me, it was, uh, it was, it was emotions of, of, of sadness and anger and frustration and helplessness and, um, and confusion as to, how, as to how that could happen. What I wanted to do with this film was to bring audiences close to this character, you know what I mean? And to let them spend time with this character in an intimate way um, and to maybe give people who, who've never spent time with somebody like Oscar some insight you know, into, into, what it, into what it's like. Um, so that was one of my goals. And then the other one of my goals was just to raise awareness about this particular case. You know, I thought that whether people liked the film or they hated it, you know, at least when they watch it, that they'll know that this happened and they're, and they're, and they're um, and, you know, they go home, maybe they'll, maybe they'll Google it and they'll go home, maybe they'll think about it, they'll tell someone about it. And uh, could you both talk about uh, moving ahead to the shooting of the movie, um, the, the process, did you have like rehearsals or, you know, and that sort of thing? We were, we were fortunate again um, in a few ways. Um, one of the introductions that the, that the Sundance Institute made was to a woman named Michelle Turner Sayayo who uh, worked for the, for the San Francisco Film Society, and they, and they had a program called Off the Page, where um, for, for independent feature films, they, they, they'll bring uh, talent to, to San Francisco, and we, and we could workshop you know, scenes with the director. And for, and for us, it was really valuable because you know, um, both Melanie and Michael, they're, they're, they're uh, from New York area. Melanie's from, 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 from here, mm -hmm. and, and, and Mike's from Newark. So um, one thing I really wanted to, to, to do was, was to get, um, to get all of those, all of those Bay Area ticks, you know, and, and, and how they, and how they talk, and, and uh, with the being based on, with the characters being based on real people, to, to maybe get them to meet some of them, who's ever able, able to take, you know, Melanie and Michael to meet the real Sofina and meet the real Tatiana, um, spend time in some of the areas where, where, where the characters spend time, um, which was, which was extremely helpful, um, and it was great for, for Mike and, and Melanie to get together and spend time because they really built um, a, a tremendously powerful chemistry, and to be honest, man, that's the, the best thing about these actors, you know, Ariana, Ariana included. Was, was that they, not only were they really, really phenomenally talented, not only, not only did they have, you know, crazy, crazy work ethics, but they all really good people, you know, like, like you know, and, that, and that's rare, you know. Um, it's rare to have those, to find those three qualities in somebody, regardless of, the, regardless of the field, you know, it could be working at the New York Stock Exchange, it could be being an athlete, you know, it's, it's rare to find somebody who's really, really talented, has a really great work ethic, and is also a, a, an incredibly warm person. You know, and, and, and so I lucked out. I hit the jackpot with, with, with our actors and being on that being on that set. Okay.